Seth Rollins appears to have torn his MCL at the most inopportune time, leaving WrestleMania plans more confusing than Booker T's commentary. Will this lead to a new world champion being crowned as early as Raw, or will the legend of the vacant grow their legacy even more? The bottom line is, Seth Rollins was a fighting champion in a world where that's not that common anymore. So let's give him his flowers and get well soon, Seth. Jeff Hardy is actually getting flack for being Jeff Hardy in his match with Darby Allin on Rampage. Haters are saying he's doing too much at his age, Rampage is just a taped show, he's doing unnecessary wear and tear on his body, oh shut up! Need I remind you all that Jeff Hardy is from an era where on a taped Smackdown, going through tables was used as an opener just to pop the crowd and get them hot for the show. Hardy is a legend, not you, who knows his body limitations better than the average Redditor. So do us all a favor, go back to fighting over show ratings and enjoy Jeff Hardy while he's still here. The Royal Rumble is this weekend, and it's anyone's game, with all due respect to LA Knight. And as of this video currently, less than a third of the participants for this Rumble have been announced, so we may actually get some <laughs> surprises this year. For example, if we get The Rock and Brock Lesnar in the Royal Rumble at the same time at this stage in their careers, it will be the sweatiest display of sweat the world has ever known. A sweat so deep, so high, it will have its own tide, its own currents that even Paul Burchill himself could not weather. Shout out those of you who get that reference, if you know, you know. For your main event minute, this is JoJo Raleigh, staying hyped. Until next time, guys, enjoy the Rumble!